This is Calvin with Montevilla Sewing Centers. Today I'm going to be going over the Janome AccuSetter app and its basic functions and how to use it. When you first launch the app, you'll be prompted to receive an embroidery file from the machine. Right now I've got our iPad set up looking at our background, uh, but if I, uh, I have these two icons right here, if I go ahead and tap this one on the bottom, see I get to my receive panel. Now this is the panel that would normally pop up when you open the app but just in case it doesn't that's how you can get to it. I want to make sure I make correct, select the correct machine model in this case it's the Continental M17 and then for sewing machine I can select the machine on our network which is right here. Once I have my machine selected I can click receive. Now what Click and Receive does will pull the actual file that is loaded onto the screen in the embroidery mode for the machine. So this can be done directly after you edit your embroidery in embroidery link and send it to the machine. You would then come to this app and receive it into here. Now that we have received the embroidery design, we now have the next step, which is capturing the image of our hoop. Now something I'll mention about this hoop right here. That hoop is what it will pull from your machine at the time that you click receive. So if that hoop is set to a different one when you click that, it will have a different outline and, and it won't actually place it right. So you want to make sure that this hoop outline here and this indicator right here showing you what hoop is selected is correct and lined up. Now there's only really two things you need to worry about. One is this little yellow dot in the center. That's a level, so as I tilt it, move around. So I want to try and get that to be green if I can. It's okay if it's not perfect because the next step will make up for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the outline of the hoop with the actual hoop and then take a photo. That moves us on to the next step. And now that we've taken the photo you'll see this screen right here which has these little red circles all around. Now what we're doing right here, if I pull the hoop in front of us, you see these little black markers. So what we're doing is we're lining up the digital markers, which are highlighted in red here, with the black markers. So I'll move this out of the way. You can see there, corresponds to this guy right here. So what we do is we hold our finger down on this guy, and that's going to pull up right in the center of the screen the zoomed in image. So I'm going to just slide that right over so that one black marker matches the other one. I'm going to do that with all eight of these. And once that's complete, we can come down to the bottom of the screen here and click Next. Now this is where we have the option to place our design. In this case, I've loaded up a pencil just because it's colorful and you can see it mainly. <laughs> But we have this. We have the uh, option to move in the x direction, in the y direction, and then we have the ability to rotate the design as well. So I'm gonna place it right about here, and we have a couple extra little options down here, where we can change the color or the display of the actual embroidery. So we can turn it off, change it to mono color or have full color. I'll point out right here we have two other buttons. This one will receive a new design, which we don't want to receive again because that will delete everything we've done now. And then this button right here will uh, create a new, basically start from scratch and create a new design. And that will again discard the current design, so we don't want to do that. This up here is just an extra little menu so you can change a little bit about the coloring of the app. Um, there's a tour button which will give you a basic guided tour of all the functions it can do. So we'll go ahead and click next. And this is where we have the option to do fine placement and resizing. So just like any regular embroidery, you can resize up to about 20% because this doesn't do any stitch calculating like the embroidery link app does. But I want to go ahead, I'm going to slide it up here. We have a D-pad. It allows you to move the design left, right, up, or down. We have the ability to rotate with these guys. And then the plus and minus are going to adjust our size. So I would like to shrink this just a little bit. Rotate this way. And put the point of that pen right on the tip of the writing. 
there we go. We also have a handy dandy undo and redo button. Now as soon as I click send, select our machine, and this will now send that position to the machine so that when I place this hoop on the machine, it will embroider right where I positioned it. That's all for this tutorial. It's a relatively easy to use app and makes for a pretty quick and easy video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and have a great day.